Hi guys, I wanted to share with you a little charity shop find. Um, I went to the charity shop the other day and I came across this little, little, little nugget and I purchased it and I wanted to share it with you because I thought some of you might find it interesting. Um, I believe in the States, you, we call them charity shops, I believe in the States you call them thrift stores or goodwill and I think in Australia you call them op shops, is that right? I'm not sure. Anyway, I was at the charity shop the other day because I do love a little bit of a charity shop rummage, I have to admit um because you can find some good little snippety snippety snippet things in there sometimes so i do enjoy a little bit of a charity shop rummage and uh, whilst i was in there i came across this it is a christmas journal it's brand spanking new it hasn't been used um and i bought it for a pound yeah a quid it cost me a quid which i believe is about one dollar fifty to you guys in the states so um, I thought that was pretty darn cool. It's um, by Mary Engelbright. I don't know how that's, if you pronounce it. Um, so yeah, by Mary Engelbright. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. Really, really pretty. It's got some really cute um, characters on it and things. I really love it. I thought it was really pretty. And do you know what was <laughs> amazingly timing? Um, a very, very lovely friend in the States sent me... Um, a couple of, of, of Mary Engelbright um, stationery items and they match this journal perfectly so now I have a matching pen that I can fill this journal out with which is really really lovely so thank you June I that's just you must have known is all I can say um so yeah Christmas journal I hadn't really sort of given much thought to it per se um last year I did do um Romani Realm, Romani's Realm here on YouTube. She is a um, artist and a journaler, and she teaches um, classes to do with journaling, art, and planning. And last year, um, she ran a course called Christmas Chronicles, which I took part in. She's also running it again this year. Um, I will um, try and remember to pop a link down below, but. Um, is Romani's Realm, you must have heard of her, she does journal and planner videos, um, so go and check her out. So she does a, um, Chris, it's a month of December, it's journaling, arting and planning um, course. I'm not doing it this year, um, due to time constraints, I'd already signed up to do a different um, online class for December and I've got some other things going on and I'm doing Vlogmas. And I just kind of thought that there's only so much you can take on. You can't do everything. So I'm already doing Vlogmas, as I said, on my other channel, vlogging every day, which doesn't take up that much time, but it's still an extra added time thing. Um, and I'm just conscious that I don't really want to overwhelm my stuff, myself with too much stuff that I can't do and then I end up getting upset because I haven't been able to do everything that I wanted to do. So... But if you want to take, you know, if you're really interested in doing doing a like Christmas journaling thing, then um, just totally check out Christmas Chronicles. So anyway, I hadn't really given much thought to journaling Christmassy type stuff. Um, I just figured that I would just carry on journaling as I would normally journal, basically. But then I came across this little beauty and I thought for a pound, I thought, you know, that's, that's too good to pass up really. The um, the price label on the back says 12 95 so yes. Um, so I thought I would share it with you because I'm pretty sure you must be able to get one of these on Amazon if you're interested. Um, and I just thought I would share it in case, you know, you perhaps wanted to pick one up yourself or maybe you wanted some, in, if you're not doing Romani's class and you wanted some inspiration for doing some Christmas journaling, then, you know, you could maybe look at picking this up. Um, so, she's got a, like a little bit of a, you know, thing from the editor there and the contents. And it's really, really interesting because the, the book is into... Um, parts basically you've got the first part which is part one memories of Christmas past and there's a section in there that you can kind of journal all about your past Christmases so there's how my parents celebrated my childhood Christmases celebrating Christmas Eve and Christmas Day ornaments and decorations favorite holiday photographs 
favourite holiday recipes and master Christmas card list. So that's the first one. And then in the part two, it's basically like a five year diary. So you can use it every year for five years. And each year it has exactly the same section. And um, it's got, so, in, so for year one, it's got preparations for the season, seasonal fun, celebrating Christmas, wrapping up and looking ahead. So it's kind of journal and it's kind of a little bit plannery and it's kind of a little bit reflective and so I just found it really really interesting and I thought I would go in depth a bit further maybe you could use some of the topics to to create your own journal with or if you don't want to do that maybe you want to see if you can find um, a copy of this journal yourself so I thought I would share a little bit more in depth with you. So the best way to take um, a good look at it is to show you it in um, in person. So I just think that design is absolutely gorgeous. Such cute little characters. Um, Okie okay, dokie. So let's get through. So as I was saying, they've got the different um, the different sections. So let's have a look. So just absolutely gorgeous illustrations. Absolutely fantastic. If if you you know, like for me, I only paid a pound for it. So even if I didn't want to use the journal, you could always cut that out and you've got some beautiful artwork. But I am going to use, um, go to use the journal as a journal. Or I'm going to attempt to, just to follow, follow it in and, and um, read through, you know, follow the prompts. Um, so it's just got like a thing of how to use it. So think of your Christmas journal as two books in one. The first part provides space for you to record your personal memories of holidays past. Um... The second book is a five-year journal for you to write in each Christmas season. Um, and, you know, it's just, I mean, I'm going to hold that there. And if you want to read that more, then you can pause um, the video to um, read, read over that if you want to. So, here we go. Memories of Christmas past. Oh, I think this is so nice. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. Um, so, how my parents celebrated... Some stories my mother has told me about the Christmas traditions in her family. Some stories my father has told me about the Christmas traditions in his family. Christmas traditions that have been passed on from my parents include. And I think this is brilliant. Like, for me, we don't have any children. And, um, you know, that's not to say that we'll never have children, you know, whatever. So, um, it would be really nice to complete for in case we do have children. Um... And it'd be really nice to perhaps incorporate some of the traditions that my parents had and incorporate them and maybe bring the traditions down through the family line with our children. Um, we'd like to have a family, but um, it hasn't quite worked out that way at the moment. But hopefully in the future, we will have a family and it would just be really, really nice to, as I say, incorporate some of these um some of these traditions and, and and if not it's just a nice thing to record anyway um so my childhood christmas is one of my earliest memories of christmas is each family has its own unique traditions at christmas some unusual christmas customs in our family were brilliant i love this idea uh some enduring memories of my brothers and sisters or close friends i'm an only child uh so i don't have any brothers and sisters but you know close friends thing um, to prepare for Christmas, our family would. Special Christmas decorations in our house included. Um, an annual Christmas outing that was always a highlight. Oh my gosh. I'm start this is starting to bring back memories already, guys. It's beautiful. A Christmas event in our community. Look at these little illustrations. Is it just me or are they just not absolutely precious? I think they're precious. Um, some of my fondest memories as a child, favourite Christmas stories or songs, memories of my school Christmas pageants and performances, some of my favourite Christmas presents, the biggest surprise I ever got, uh, favourite Christmas treats to eat, Christmas homecomings. I have absolutely no idea what the homecoming is because this is a um, an American book. Um, there's the um, there's the ISBN number, guys, if you want to um, pause the video and write that down in case you want to find this journal on Amazon or something, or on eBay, maybe. Um, so, yeah, this I'm in the UK. We don't have homecoming. I have no idea what homecoming is. Um, 
Uh, la, la, la. I'm going over. Oh, Christmas Eve traditions. What Christmas morning, Christmas day were like. Um, how religious services we participate in. New Year's traditions. New Year's memories. Isn't this just great? Look, it goes on and on. Chris, um, use this section to list Christmas ornaments and decorations that have special significance to you. If you can recall the history of a particular ornament or decoration, record it here. That'll, that's really interesting. I find this stuff so interesting, guys. That's why I'm sharing it with you. Because you journal, journal and planner peeps, I'm pretty sure you're going to find this interesting too. And I had no idea that this existed until I found it in a charity shop. Which is why I'm sharing. Because if I knew that this existed, I would have bought it. Um, Favourite holiday photographs. Oh, there's quite a few pages for holiday photographs. Might not fill those in. Favourite holiday recipes. Gosh, some more of them. Master Christmas card list. So this is where your planning comes in. Now, I won't be using this um, section because I use my Filofax for doing my planning in this sort of thing. Also, people move, and I'm thinking, because of all this memory stuff in the front here, I want to keep that for, like, treasuring my memories, and people move, you know, and addresses change, and, you know, people move on, and you may not longer have contact with them, and all that kind of stuff, so I'm not going to be using uh, this section, I'm going to be using my Christmas Philo facts, but it's interesting to have anyway. I don't know what I'll do with these pages. I might glue them together or something. I mean, there is quite a lot of them. And then we move over to the second section, which is about the planning and um, preparation. Look at those illustrations. Isn't that just beautiful? I love it. Now, this is quite interesting, I think, because um, it is planning, but not... It's got some different things in it than what I have in my Christmas planner and things I hadn't thought about. I mean, obviously, in my um, Christmas planning pages that I designed, they're based on what I thought I wanted. But sometimes you don't, um, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> that makes sense so this I think is quite interesting to look at and because I'm a journal and planning enthusiast um, this sort of stuff is really interesting to me so use this section to record your progress in preparing for the arrival of the holidays uh, year of journal date Christmas journaling begun and then it's got summary of my holiday planning status on this date interesting um, so I guess you just fill that in in terms of you know I don't know it's December the 20th, so far I've done all this. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, goals for this holiday season. I've already done a goals. If you watched my um, Christmas planning file facts um, series, the very first one I talked about goals. So that's interesting to know that other people are interested in that as well. Um, additions to the Christmas card list. Um, holiday planning calendar. Parties, programs, performances, appointments, mail ordering, deadlines, etc. I will probably use this retrospectively. So I probably won't use this as a forward planning. I'd be inclined to do this, fill this in after Christmas and to put in any events that we attended, not that we are due to attend. Um, is how I will probably use that. Uh, decking the halls, lights, greenery, nativity scenes, candles, stockings, indoor and outdoor decorations. I'm not sure what that bit's for, whether it's like, maybe additions to stuff or thoughts and ideas you have but I think that's quite interesting uh trimming the tree new ornaments which is interesting because this one doesn't say new so this must just be have like your thoughts and ideas on decor or something uh trimming the tree new ornaments heirloom decorations and type of tree I've no idea what this bit's for, but again, it's a prompt, isn't it? So, getting into the spirit of Christmas. So, that's quite interesting. Maybe if, like, um, once we've put the tree up or something, we could sort of talk about how festive we're feeling. I don't know. Uh, tasks to remember. Have family picture taken for Christmas card. Begin work on family newsletter. Well, we don't do that. Maybe we should, but we don't. 
purchase Christmas cards early, gather catalogues, leave ample time to finish homemade or handmade presents, begin baking early. And that's your notes. So that's like your to-do list section. Again, I will probably do this retrospectively because I'm using my file facts for my forward planning. So this might be journaling what has happened rather than anything else. Seasonal fun. Use this section to report on all of the fun activities of the season. So outings and activities you've done, events you've been to, parties you've been to, and comments. And I think that's really nice to record a place to record all of those different things that you've been to and that you've done. Some more illustrations. These are just really pretty. I like these. I do like these. Um, celebrating Christmas. Use this section to write about the people and events that made your Christmas special this year. Family fun, surprises, homecomings and guests, great gifts, travel, great goofs and near calamities. My favourite Christmas moment, something or someone that made this year extra special and additional thoughts. Um, but yeah, please enlighten me on what homecoming means because I have a no idea. Um, does it mean going home for Christmas? Is that what it means? I don't, I don't really know. I thought homecoming was something to do with schools and dances, but um, I may be wrong. Um, wrapping up and looking ahead. Use this section for your post-holiday wrap-up. Oh, okay, I thought that meant wrapping your presents. Okay, um, use this section for your post-holiday wrap-up. Record things to remember from this year that will make your holiday smoother and enjoyable next year. Now, that is a good idea, I think. Um, brilliant idea. Special gifts, cards or kindnesses received. My favourite thing about the holidays this year. New additions to ornament or other collections, an unexpected occurrence, things I want to remember for next year, additional comments. Date Christmas journal put away for the year. Interesting. And then that would be year two. So I'm just going to flip through because the front's got, you know, it's got some nice um, illustrations. Look at that. I love Christmas. How cute is that? Oh, nice. Um, Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Ah, my favourite festive story that is. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Glory to the Newborn. The singing is always free, by the way. Um, how cute, how cute is this? That's, so I'm just showing you the illustrations because everything else is exactly the same. Because um, it's, you know, the same four or five years oh so pretty why didn't anyone use this why did this end up in a charity shop what a shame it's not for me though oh look believe it's not a shame for me though because i picked up myself a super fantastic bargain but i think it's a super shame that um for the people who didn't who sold it Hi guys i hope you found that interesting to have a flip through um i have to admit that was the first time that i'd thoroughly looked through it with you so that was nice to discover it at the same time as you were discovering i mean i literally just briefly flicked through it in the shop and thought that's so cool i'm gonna have that and um, i'm gonna do a video on it because i think it's so cool and you guys would like to know about it so yeah i'm loving that so that's my attempt i'm gonna try and fill that in and it'd be nice to kind of chat to the parents as well and get their kind of memories off of them and all that kind of stuff because I think Christmas is such a lovely time of year to kind of you know just record all those memories and I love it so yeah have a think maybe about journaling your Christmas too I obviously I journal all the time so journaling my Christmas is fairly easy but there were some prompts in there that I hadn't actually thought of and some things that they've covered that I hadn't thought of as well so that's really nice and I think it's sometimes you need that push to kind of record past memories and traditions and stuff sometimes you need that push so that was quite nice um yeah but as I said like you know Christmas Chronicles I do recommend if you're looking for um, an actual class to take rather than doing something yourself but um yeah there we go i hope you enjoyed that guys and i shall see you really soon let me know what homecoming is because i haven't got a clue um and yeah are you journaling this christmas let me know um i just 
love this journal. I think it's so cool. And I think it's fantastic that you can find something that fills your heart with so much joy just in a charity shop. I think that's brilliant. A one pound! A pound! It's crazy! Um, and I love it. So yeah, I'm going to be filling this little boot boot in. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!